where we have a very diverse group of talks today. They're about big ideas. They're about leadership. They're about transformation. I am privileged to welcome you here today to TED at UPS. This is going to be a really special event. These individuals represent who we are as UPSers. They embody this UPS culture. People that we've met who have devoted their entire careers to this organization, I have never heard of anything like it. Hold on, Dad, I'm coming home to stay. I gather around with all the, the people in the town on my lunch break, and you know, we make music, and I wouldn't call the people customers where I'm at. It's, it, they're like family to me. And so that's, that's the great part of being a driver for UPS for me. I think we can achieve zero hunger in our lifetime. See, when most people talk about global hunger, they think that the problem is that there isn't enough food in the world. But the problem isn't the lack of food. Hunger is a logistics problem. It is a problem that affects all aspects of the supply chain. So clearly we need to find ways of wasting less food, but even if we did, there would still be a problem with organic waste. Well, wouldn't it be great if we could find a way not to look at the methane as a waste, but as a resource, maybe as a fuel? This is the circular economy. The fact is, the barriers that most companies face in going international just aren't the borders on the map. The borders they have a hard time crossing are the ones that they establish for themselves. Doubt, uncertainty, fear. The global private sector donated $69 billion in cash and goods and services. Well, my company did something different. They donated me. Before the beginning of great brilliance, there must be chaos. Before a person does something great, he or she must be willing to look foolish to the crowd. And I'm proud to have played the fool. Scrappers have a sense of purpose that prevent them from giving up on themselves. These people tunnel their way under and through barriers to emerge virtually unscathed on the other side. I am transgender. By denying my true self, I robbed them of all I could give. I became increasingly isolated and alone. That's what living with acute pain does. It isolates you. If you meet somebody and you think, maybe they've got some potential within the company or with any other company, give them a chance. A little smile on his face when we get in. All right, brethren. Give people the opportunity and they will rise to the challenge. Let's hear from all oh, the people that have been here 20 years or more. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. 